Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for 911 Operator. As we continue our run here in Anchorage, Alaska, where things have been getting kind of exciting. I was not expecting bomb threats and bombs going off in Anchorage, Alaska. I mean, I don't know why. I just don't think of it being up that way. I don't know. I feel like people would be more like New York or Los Angeles if they're going to be going crazy like that. But yeah, dealt with a crazy psycho bomber dude. Um... I don't, I mean, we definitely needed a bomb team on that map. I don't know if we're going to need another bomb team like in the future. Um, I don't know how, <laughs> are we expecting more bombs? Oh, we're apparently expecting a blizzard. Uh, if that, I guess I probably could have read the chapter before that, this last one, chapter five, and gotten a hint of what, I don't remember what chapter five was called. I didn't even think of a bomber though, but into the blizzard, that's pretty blatantly obvious what that's going to be. Tons and tons and tons of injuries right now. Um including our chopper pilot. Oh, wow. I did not realize that. So this is, this is going to be a bit rough. I mean, I would love to get us another vehicle of like a police vehicle or something like that. I mean, I guess we can get us a search and, uh, search and rescue helicopter. I don't know how much search and rescue people are going to be going out in the blizzards though. Uh, I could see that our, I could imagine a situation where our, Aerial vehicles are grounded during blizzard situations. Uh, our entire SWAT team is out right now. This is about as bad as it's been. Like how bad are, I mean, some of these injuries are pretty bad. Nine days, eight days, six days. I mean, the bomb's going off is terrible. Three days, two days. And um, we've only got one person coming back tomorrow. Mostly the other ones are going to be coming back quite a bit later. I mean, some of the fire crew come back tomorrow. Medical crews come back tomorrow. So... Yeah, this is not great. I don't know how best we may just run without this unit for right now. I'm going to turn you off for now. Close you out for now. We'll come back to you. I just need to see if we can field anything else with whatever else we got. I mean, I think the fire crews are going to be okay. The two... But the motorcycle there is fine. This motorcycle crew does not have anybody, though, so I guess we should. I mean, we can hire more people, which is fine, because that means we can just, you know, spread them out later once they come back from being, being healthy again. So I guess more motors, like more people that can drive our motorcycles would be a good idea. So we'll fill out this other motorcycle crew with these two guys. Give them the relevant equipment here. Uh, including a first aid kit on one, technical on the other. I think I forgot to give you the other handgun. Um, I mean, the helicopter by itself, I mean, I guess just the one person is probably going to be okay for now. I will probably give you both the chest compressor and the defibrillator. Get rid of the first aid kit itself. Um, this little four-wheeler. I mean, the one guy there is at least something. It's not great. I mean, I feel like search and rescue type things are probably going to be pretty important here. I mean, thermal image, imager sounds like it would be pretty critical. I might actually buy that and give that to this guy down here. So for situations where we need to find people, he can be our guy that zips around trying to help, tries to help with that type of stuff. Probably should have been hinted by the fact that we got a defused robot that we were probably going to have a need for that. I'm going to drone for searching speed. Again, I don't know if that's going to be helpful for us. If there's a blizzard going on, I don't know how much we can do with the aerial guys. I mean, these two crews are okay. I'm okay with those. Honestly, all of our medical stuff here is fine. These are probably okay for now. Uh, I do have another search and rescue vest here. So these guys can help with search and rescue. Maybe I got, give you guys another thermal imager. So we have two different things to have thermal imagers because we're expecting blizzards here. And honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab us another firefighter. Let's grab you. Put you there. Um, and I'm also going to give you 
don't have any more search and rescue, do we? Get us another SAR vest for one of you guys. I think that's going to be okay. And I guess you can have the thermal imager. So that should be okay. Honestly, I probably could have just given one of these over. I probably could save myself some money. It's going to be fine. Uh, we do have more first aid kits. Let's give you one. Uh, let's also give you one. I mean, I'm mostly okay with a lot of this. I'm going to go ahead and give you a fire extinguisher just in case. I feel like I'm mostly okay with a lot of this. I mean, we are short a police vehicle now. But I don't know that I'm going to buy an entire whole nother crew just for that. Harsh terrain. Honestly, that's probably very useful for what we're going to need. That I think is worth kidding out. So we're going to grab you. We're going to grab... Grab this police officer and we'll grab this police officer. We will go ahead and start, get a new team here with that. I mean, technically this could haul people, if, haul, haul prisoners if we need them to. But primarily this is going to be another form of search and rescue. Uh, we'll give you a first aid kit. Oh, I guess I should actually give you a, a staff member. Alright, and we'll give you a first aid kit on one of you guys. Uh, can't figure out my thing. Uh, we'll give you, I mean, just in case, we'll give you some handguns and stuff. I'm kind of primarily not going to be using you for that type of stuff, is my hope. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these search and rescue vests and give that to one of you guys because you guys are going to kind of, in theory, do a little bit of search and rescue as well. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, I'm okay with this. So we do have... We, we actually kind of net evened the number of police crews that we have. We just don't have our quote-unquote SWAT team. But I think this crew is going to be okay. I think I'm pretty happy with what we got here. We're probably not ready for what we got coming, but it's a start. Let's see what we got. All right, police truck is there, which is about where the... Uh, SWAT crew came from, so I think that's actually pretty acceptable. All right, I'm expecting some blizzards. All right, we got uh, a collapsed house already. It's going to be a technical with medical. We got us a disrobing incident. Send the dogs! Childbirth, send you, please. Let's get these resolved quickly, guys, because I know we're going to have more stuff coming. All right, so you're done. Good stuff. How about you? Resolved, resolved. Just cleaning up the obstacle, which is fine. This is a hurt by rubble incident. We'll send you up there and we will need to send some sort of medical, uh, possible three medical. Um, I guess we'll send you that heading that way. We may have to send the helicopter back over here in a moment. Or send the helicopter period is what I meant. All right, you actually could technically get there quicker. So we'll go ahead and send you up there because you have three spots just in case we need all three of those. Do you have a new call? What's your emergency? I want to report a kidnapping. Ma'am, who's been kidnapped? My baby girl. What happened? We went to the playground and I only looked away for a moment to say hi to my friend who stopped by. I looked back and she, she was 
gone. The other children said, oh my god, that she left with a man. What's the address of the place where she was last seen? I'll notify the proper forces. They'll conduct a search. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh my god. Goodbye. Oh, that one hits me in the feels, guys. <laughs> Sorry. I got I got children, and that that one. Mm. Nightmare situation, big time. I'm gonna send more people over here. Send as much as we got. Actually, can the helicopter help? I actually don't know if the helicopter can help or not. Oh, that hits me. That's rough. A lot of people coming over here. I don't know. Maybe more than we need. The sooner we resolve this, though, the, like, the sooner we get there and be able to do a search, the better. I'm not sending this guy right now, and I'm also not sending... Actually, you guys can probably help. We'll send you there, because you're close. Oh, is the helicopter actually doing the research? Or is that the... That might be the police motorcycle. All right, we got us a sharp tool injury. Uh, for now, you head up there. We probably will need to transport here in a moment. I'm driving home and just getting out. What are the orders? I can't be going there. 707, please get a look at me through the unit of almost 7 eyes. Oh, yeah, I'm on that. Sector clear. Object reporting. Doesn't look like the medical vehicle is able to do any sort of searching. So on that note, we'll send you up there. Are you not able to get there? Object spotted. Okay, okay, go, go, go. Report. I can't be going. What are the orders? Eleven twenty-five. Can you go to the radio room? You got any uh, FTOs with a PPO info? Copy, I've got all of them. So just need the one guy. All right, you guys can start spreading back out. We found him. Good job, team. That one guy should be able to handle that. I mean, it's our unmarked, but it should be all right. This guy will be able to pick up the mer the the uh, injury here in a moment. Let's grab you as soon as you get ready. Oh, are you getting fired upon? Oh, they're fighting with you. Known terrorist. Okay, yeah. Let's send you there. Surely you guys are okay. Two of you versus one? All right, we're almost there to the sharp tool injury. Guess you don't need to be there if that guy's already there, so we'll send you back down here. You guys did resolve that just fine. No injuries. Uh, the ambulance is coming down. We're good there. Where's our fire quad? Oh, oh, we got four there versus two. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Hurt by rubble. Uh, it's probably more technical than anything. We'll send you there. You can come help with the injuries. You guys are almost resolved. Good stuff there. You are almost resolved. Good stuff there. You are done. Okay. Zip back down this way. Uh, you actually probably need to come help with that. Under fire. I mean, this again, it's 
four versus two. I feel like that has to be good enough. I mean, I guess we could temporarily send you there just in case. We're third of the way through the shift. Okay, you guys have resolved. Please tell me you're not about to transport the girl in the same ambulance with the kidnapper. <laughs> There's just something wrong with that. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> oh, I think I think technically that's what's gonna happen, but I feel like in re in what reality that would just ne there's just no way that would ever happen. Oh well. Hopefully, actually, you know what? She's only got a single drop. Hopefully, that just means that she does not need to be transported. Yeah, we're good. So, oh, there's my quad right there. I was like, I couldn't find my quad. You guys are going to be able to help with that. That's fine. Three injured. Uh, hopefully not two injured. We'll see. Still under fire. Uh, it looks like on the fighting side of things, we are okay. It's just the um, medical side of things. So we do need to get a medical person here. We got the helicopter coming. Uh, sharp tool injury. Uh, as soon as one of these ambulances frees up, we can send them that direction. If, in fact, this one right here will be able to zip down there in just a moment. I don't know why I'm going so slow. Alright, go help with that, please. We do have some more injuries to our police officers, unfortunately. Uh, construction incident, I'll send you there. Uh, you can help with that, please. Uh, helicopter can just come back and grab the other guy here in a second. I feel like if there's more than one person here, the helicopter should just make trips back and forth until everybody's picked up. But I guess there's reasons why they, they don't do that, because maybe they expect you to send another transport itself individually. Damage fire hydrant. I mean, that's not super critical. Um, I guess you come down and help with that, but it's not really a huge, huge deal. As far as total triage here. Okay, they're going back to the hospital. So we do have some injuries here, unfortunately. You guys spread up. Uh, medical transport needed there. You head over there, my friend. Do you have a call? 911, what's your emergency? Where are you, ma'am? At home. My house is at Old Hope Home Hall. What is going on? Did you hurt yourself, or was it someone else? He did it. Could you give me more information about the attacker? Who is he? He... we met once. I hardly know him. It was... kind of a date. I know that's not easy for you, but could you give me a precise description of the attacker? How does he look like? What is he wearing? Uh, dark hair, brown eyes. Um, he's, he's tall and strong. Wearing a brown leather coat with, with blue jeans. Okay. What kind of injuries do you have? Ma'am, did he sexually abuse you? <laughs> I'm sending the ambulance and the police unit now. Police? I, I can't. I don't want to speak with police. Right now, I just need an ambulance. I know you don't want to talk about it, but it's necessary. The police officer is going to gather information and evidence which are essential to catch the person who attacked you. I can send a female police officer if that'll make it a bit easier for you, okay? I'm... I really don't know if... I can handle any more questions right now. Okay. 
If you say so, I'll just send the ambulance. Thanks. I'll wait here. What are the... My copy. Going there. Reporting. Affirmative. Hmm, this is a very, uh, very, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's getting to you. And these last couple, bombs in the last one, crazy stuff in this one. Man, this is, oh, kidnappings, rapes, that's not good. Not good. I mean, I know this is what are the orders? people deal with, but, man. Sometimes it's nice to live in an ignorant bubble. Uh, I, I don't know. Just being honest, quite frankly. Object not found. Affirmative. 2247 West Monroe. 113 Lieutenant at 1011. Report. Understood. Sorry, 10 Thank you. Sorry, we got a visual. 113 Lieutenant at 1011. I'm standing by. What? Sector clear. Sector clear. 113 Lieutenant. We're affirmative. 10 4. I copy. Object not found. Affirmative. All right, we got a collapsed house here. Send the ambulance. We'll send the fire truck. I can't really get in there, can I? I want to get in there without actually going to the thing, because I told her I wouldn't send anybody. It's a pretty big search area. Alright, there we go. Good job. As you can zip, one of you guys can zip over here. We spread these guys back out a little bit. Over there. Good job. Good job, team. Collapsed house. Reporting. You go there. You go there. And honestly, you probably just zip over there because you're close. Standing by. Alright, you're done there. Good job. Alright, that should be able to resolve that pretty quickly. Good stuff there. Alright. So far, so good. Looks, looks, looks good. Ready for the next case. Got a chemicals on fire up here. How long on this one? 45 seconds. How long on this one? 30 seconds. A lot longer. That was a long time as well. Um... I'm going to have you come over here to the road breach to free up the fire truck to hopefully go to the chemicals on fire. Never mind, you finished up quickly. I'll send you guys both up there, though, just in case. It says it's large for both of them. Breach. Okay, you pivot. Go there. That's gonna be fine. We'll just send that one guy up there for now. Standing by. Right away. 
construction incident. You come help with that. You come help with that. Illegal parking. He's a fire truck, huh? your emergency hey there was a robbery do you have any injuries no we are fine how long ago did this happen a moment ago are your attackers still in the area they ran away down the road where did this happen around uh... did they have any weapons yes a bat and a knife all right sir we'll take care of it just wait for emergency services to arrive All right, we got a collapsed house here. Reporting right away. Reporting. I copy. Go in there. Should be resolved soon. Oh, they found him already. That was quick. Reporting. Heading over there. What are the orders? Affirmative. We're done here. What are the orders? Oh, no, it just hadn't popped. For some reason, it was... I don't know why I did that. That's kind of weird that it vanished for a second there. Reporting. So you actually zip up that way, I suppose. I guess it just doesn't stay highlighted when I click off it. Surprised we're not getting credit for some of the stuff there. Um, you head up there. We might need transport. Actually, you can head up there for transport. That's fine. We're really not getting credit for these sector searches, huh? There we go. That's fine. That one guy should be enough, I hope. Well, there's two suspects. We'll send the other guys just in case. Hey, we got a police transport there. Pedestrian hits. So the sky frees up, he can head up there as well. Alright, all this is resolved. One more, looks like. Damaged bridge. All right, that's the shift. No, not bad. Standing by. We're done here. Got injured going to hospital. Standing by. All right, that actually went pretty well. I felt like um, that was. Pretty smooth. Not a lot of crazy stuff. I mean, I was expecting Blizzard stuff, but maybe that's just part of the chapter and not part of that particular duty. So I think it will come. Um, it's not our first or second one. We're only 30 minutes in. Well, I can't remember if that's our first or second. So either way, we're going to go ahead and go in for another one. Well, let's keep going. All right. We should have at least a staff member back, right? Yeah, we do have a firefighter back and a police officer. So that's good. So the firefighter, I guess just go here, up with that. The police officer, I honestly don't really have anywhere for you to go right now. I mean, we could go ahead and grab the police helicopter. Again, I don't feel like 
the helicopter will be able to go out in the blizzard, but maybe I'm wrong. So maybe we do just go ahead and grab us a search and rescue helicopter or something like that. It's pretty quick. We can also just grab the regular police copter. Which one of these do we feel like is better? I mean, this is just going to be able to search slightly quicker. Only needs one crew. It's only two. I mean, I feel like this is probably the better option of the two. So I think we're going to grab this. So we'll do a new team here. Put the search and rescue copter here. We'll grab you. I mean, you're probably going to be in the air, so I don't know what equipment you actually would need. Don't think I'm going to give you any sort of... like a uh, fire power or anything like that. I mean, we could buy a drone. I mean, I don't know how, does that really, I feel like getting the thermal imager probably makes sense. And I think just another search and rescue vest is probably the most logical things here. This is just a search and rescue kind of type of vehicle. I don't think it needs any sort of weaponry or anything like that. I'd like to give you a friend. Uh, do we just have an injured? Oh, you're back. Cool. And actually, you're a better pilot. So let's put you in the pilot seat. Um, continue to give you guys this stuff. I think that looks good. All right. I like it. We have two helicopters now. Still got our SWAT team crew, but I mean, we're still waiting for some of these guys to come back. So that's going to be what's going to fill that out. Still got fire crew that we could fill in here and there. But no, I think this is pretty good. We still got 84000 bucks. It's still a good chunk of money. At some point, we could grab us this thing. But that's going to be pretty expensive. So otherwise, I think I'm pretty happy with what we got here. Let's go. Oh, okay. So there, there we go. There's the blizzard. Helicopters cannot be used. Good to know. I assumed that was going to be the case. Was not sure. All right, so we did just lose a police and a medical. Um, so we probably need another pickup truck. Honestly, if anything, we probably don't need the motorcycles. I think I'll keep the cars, but I think the motorcycles go away as well. And possibly just get replaced with more pickup trucks. Yeah. Yeah. So let's grab us a couple more pickup trucks. I did just spend a lot of money on a uh, helicopter we're not going to need, but that's all right. All right, those two look pretty good. We guess I will go ahead and give these guys weapons of some sort in case those are needed but we're also going to expect that somebody here needs some sort of a thermal imaging all right i think i'm going to go ahead and give you that i'm going to give i'm just going to dish out search and rescue and thermal for all of these guys i think Assuming we got enough money for all that. So one more of those, two more of those. Very expensive. But I feel like we're going to need all of this stuff. Oh, did I grab a fire suit? That was dumb. Can I sell this? I'm oh, sorry. Keep tabbing out. Um, Can I sell this? Come on, tab back in. Yeah, I think I broke this. Now I have a fire suit that I can't use. All right, well, let's buy the search and rescue anyway. I meant to buy that anyway. I'll figure out the fire suit in a bit. Hopefully it resolves itself. So what else have we got on the staff side of things? We still have medical. I mean, I kind of feel like maybe another one of these might not be bad, if, but we can't afford that. There's no way. I 
I mean, I guess I could have a police van that has a couple medical crew inside it. Is that, is that something we can do? Could we put medical crew in here? Yeah, apparently, technically, we can. Just to give them something like um, a couple first aid kits, maybe. And this will just be like a crew that can kind of just go around to help people. Uh, we'll give you this. So this is not a go, you know, solve crime type of person. This is just literally just go help whatever we can. Something like that. Uh, in fact, I might even buy you another thermal imager instead of this other medical thing. All right, that looks good. I don't know what's going to happen with that fire suit. It is what it is. All right, I think this is good. Um, any other stuff that we're missing? Now we got everybody else decked out. <sighs> no helicopters. Probably would have liked to have another one of those, but I think this is going to have to be the way it is. It's going to be hard to move around. We do have a couple kind of rugged vehicles. We've got three trucks. Um, those should be able to move around okay. We'll see. How do I have invalid teams? Oh, is this technically count as an invalid team? Well, then why did you let me put it in there? You're the one that let me. So I'm <laughs> just saying. Um, okay, fine. We'll put you guys up there. These guys can come fill out these other two vans. I mean, I will keep with the whole um, extra first aid as needed. One of you guys will have a defibrillator, I guess. Uh, I'll probably get the defibrillator to one of you guys, actually. That way I just remember which one has it. I mean, that's going to have to be about as good as it's going to get. You're still, you're kind of a one-man crew down here. Um, which I think is going to be fine. We'll still consider you a search and rescue thing. All right, we'll go with that. We'll see if this works. Bunch of, bunch of trucks. All righty. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty rough. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello. Um, there's a man passed out in the snow right in front of my house. Please take him away from here. Ma'am, is the man breathing? Yes, yes, he is. But he's completely drunk. It's really cold out, and he could freeze to death if you don't come and get him. Where exactly are you, ma'am? It's uh, all the way from the closet. Okay, thank you for the call. We'll be there soon. Great. Is that all? Did you give him first aid? I don't know a thing about that. I did what I was supposed to. I've called you, and now he's your problem. Ma'am, we don't know how long he's been passed out in front of your house. If you don't help him, he could get frostbite, or worse. <sighs> okay, then. I want my conscience clear. What should I do? Well, he can't stay out in the cold, so we need to get him inside and warm him up. But where? This is a residential neighborhood. There's no place to take him. In that case, you'll need to take him into your home. What? I'm not bringing a drunk stranger into my house. Ma'am, we don't know how long he's been passed out in front of your house. If he's been there a while, he might die before the ambulance gets there. He needs to be taken to a warm place immediately. Okay, but, but how am I supposed to move him? There's no one around to help me. Can you pick him up? No. He's too heavy. Okay, uh, you'll need to grab him by his arms and pull him. Hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult and you'll be able to move him. Really? Okay, I'll try. Place 
in a hot place, away from heat, or just in a cold place. The middle of the room would be best. Uh, keep them away from any heat sources. That seems weird. Why would you say that? Is it because he would heat up too fast? Can you cover him with a blanket? Done. I think he's slowly recovering. Please give him something warm to drink when he regains consciousness, okay? The ambulance will be there. The ambulance soon. is already there. <laughs> I'll do it. I think I answered that wrong, but I didn't understand some of those answers, to be honest. I, I honestly don't know. That's what I get for, for not, not being an actual 911 operator myself. All right, send you down there. That should be good. One of your units got stuck in the snow. The team has already started clearing the path. It will take some time. If you want to speed up the process, send another unit to help them. Our teams are the most efficient. All right. Well, you are actually trying to help that already. So you're already there. Um, beating. Okay. That's great. Um, see if I four really can get over there to free that unit up. All right. They got finished. Good job. Oh, they might need an ambulance down here. All right, we got out here. We got a trapped in house. Standing by. Fallen tree. Really? Is that really that critical? That should resolve pretty quickly here. You need more transports, really? Okay, then you go help with that. This is a car bump. Uh, I guess send you over there. All right, you actually can probably get to the tree quicker and probably be more efficient at that. So you just stay over here. Electrical hazard, you can go help with that. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? There's no power. Get here fast. Now. What's your address? It's Does that cause any serious threat? Yes. I can't play wrestler. Sir, it's not an emergency. Please, don't block the line. <laughs> what? There is no power. That is serious. I know that you find this situation concerning, but there's no emergency. Yes, there is. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. Seriously. I mean, I know there are people like this. I get it. It's it's kind of... Oh, oh, oh. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Uh, but it's just like, really? Really, people? People think that their life is the most important thing in the world. And nobody else's life matters. Alright, we got frozen car lock. I don't know that that's really... I mean, I don't... Eh, whatever. We'll send somebody. I don't feel like that's super, super critical, but... A lot of these today are probably not going to be at that level of criticality. Fallen tree. Not the fallen tree. No, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get to the fallen tree in a moment. I'm not super feeling like it's super urgent. Standing by. You guys see if you can make it over to the fallen tree. Uh, broken heating. I'm listening. Understood. I mean, that's a bit more critical because obviously somebody's not got heat. That's going to be pretty rough for them.
Broken bone. Okay, these are all looking good. Fall from a high building. Oof. Uh, you get over there first to start administering care. We're going to have to try and send one of these guys to transport, I assume. It'll be hard to get there, but... All right, we got a family abuse. Great. Waiting for instruction. A copy. Go in there. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello. Uh, there's been an accident. A truck flipped over on its side. Where did it happen? Um, I'm not sure. I don't really know the area. Okay, um, do you see any landmarks or buildings around you? Something that might help tell you where you are. Hold on. Yes, uh, I can see a building with an address on it. It says... Can you tell if anyone's injured? I don't know. I can't see or hear anything from where I'm standing. Should I approach the truck and check? Look around the truck and check the cab to see if there's anyone who needs medical attention, okay? Okay, I'm approaching. I can smell gasoline. It's <laughs> shit. Then get away from there. Strong. Uh, the front of the truck is totally destroyed. Why didn't he tell him? The battery's hanging on the wires. Wait a moment. Usually they tell him. Usually the guy, the operator says. Don't approach if it looks dangerous. And in this time, he didn't say anything about that. What a weirdo. Okay. I don't get it. I mean, I like... It's fine. It's just... There are a few things that are just like, come on. They should have just told me. Like, be a little bit better descriptive of what the response was going to be. Because that's not the response I actually intended for. Alright, we got here. Bicycle wounded a pedestrian. Oh. Um, honestly, you might be able to help a little bit there. We're going to get low rep for that one, but I mean, there's not much we can do about it. Uh, we got a metal transport needed over here. Two falls from a high building. What are people doing that they're falling from high buildings? Um, I don't have any medical transport right now. Waiting for instructions. Partly because this unit is stuck in the snow at the moment. You are ready to go somewhere. So see if you can get over there. Actually, you make it there because we do know that needs to medical transport for sure. What is this? Broken heating. Reporting. I mean, maybe you can help with that a little bit. Standing by. Um, let's see if you can help with providing something down there. How long are you going to be stuck in the snow for? 60 more seconds. Okay. Standing by. All right. You... Actually, keep going there. You start heading down there. We got a collapsed house down here. Now we're just short on medical crews without having our uh, other thing. Uh, falling into water. I didn't see you. I'm sorry. No, we got a big obstacle we're trying to deal with there. Beating. I guess you head down that way. Yeah, 
It's stuck in the snow again. I mean, it's not a huge surprise, but wow. Broken bone there. I mean, I don't know if you can help with the unit stuck in the snow. You're in a pickup truck. Maybe you can help pull him out or something. You really just don't have much to do right now, do you? I mean, I guess you could help with the unit stuck in the snow. Maybe you can help with that instead. How are we looking here? Injured driver is dead. Well, that's no good. Definitely going to use lose rip for that one. I mean, I, there's not much we could have done there, I suppose. Alright, they're done down there. What do we got up here? We got a fall. Another fall. Looks like we lost the person over here, unfortunately. Man, this is rough. Um, still need the medical transport. It's just not coming because it keeps getting stuck. What are the orders? Case resolved. Standing by. What are the orders? All right, can you make it way down down here now? On my way. Oh, did this person die or something? No, just still, they're still coming. What are the orders? Affirmative. Actually, you try and make it up there. Negative. What are the orders? On my way. We are ready. Reporting. Ten four. We're done here. All right, you're going back to the hospital. Good stuff. What are the orders? Honestly, if you can make your way there and this guy can make his way there, that would probably be ideal. How are we doing here? You're still still dealing with stuff by yourself. I guess you can go help. Police transport needed, huh? Okay. Actually, slow down for a second. You can come help there because you're right there. You go there. I thought you were already moving, my friend. Injured on board. Ready for the next case. All right, ambulance here does actually not Wait. not have anybody. Maybe you head up there just in case you need that. I mean, wasn't great, but I guess it could have been worse. Actually, you might be able to make it there quicker. No, on second thought, you go there. That guy's still going up there. That's fine. What are the orders? Everybody's moving so slow. Yeah, our efficiency was terrible today. This is rough. Injured on board. Poor little ambulance not designed for these types of roads. Yeah, this was not a good run at all. Wow. Got injured going to the hospital. Yeah, how, how bad did we miss some? We got timeout on the fall in the water. Okay. Two timeouts on the fall in the water. We tried to get there. I don't know. I guess they just didn't make it. Um, Collapsed house with timed up. Man, we just... Lost a lot for those. We did solve a lot of things, but we just missed some pretty critical ones, unfortunately. Uh, we did have one injury. Hopefully they aren't too injured for too long. But yeah, there we go. Go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, uh, I can't remember how many chapters there are. I thought it was only six, but maybe we just got to finish out this chapter, uh, and that should be the end of it. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.